All right, you guys won't believe this. This week we're gonna spray this beautiful marker painting with water and see what happens. Let's check it out. Welcome back my amazing and wonderful art family and friends. We're gonna have some fun today, I'm pretty excited. This is your guys' idea, you suggested this. Water and markers today. We're gonna to do a few different experiments to see what effect this water has sprayed on some marker paintings. We're gonna save the best for last as we always do. We're gonna take this big, beautiful blossom marker painting that I just finished and we're gonna hang that on a clothesline and spray it at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Get your uh, markers out and your water so you guys can follow along and try some of these things at home. I'm pretty excited to have some fun. Let's get started. All right, our family, I know you guys have been waiting to play around with markers and water for a long time, and here we are. We're starting with our smallest uh, art experiment first. We're just gonna use one sheet of toilet paper and you're gonna wanna get your marker. You're gonna wanna go like this. Just start doing little squares with your marker like that. See how I'm doing that? And you're gonna end up filling this whole thing in with just these little squares next to each other. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. Then once you get that filled in, you're gonna take your dropper and you go across it and just squirt little drops of water on there. So when I see you guys next, I'll have the, this all colored in with our, using our markers and then we'll do the dropper part together. Should be fun. All right guys, you ready for the fun part? Let's put a little water on this uh, piece of toilet paper. And like I said, this is just our first experiment today. We're starting small and we're going to work our way into some big stuff. So let's have a little fun together, see what it looks like. Let's use some pretty colors on this one. I think you want to just do a few drops, maybe not too many, because it, I don't think it takes too much water for it to uh, start blending. Uh, I used a lot of uh, darker colors on this and uh, kind of hoping they'll blend together. It makes a nice almost reminds me of like a dyed piece of silk or a handkerchief or something. It's kind of pretty. A lot of darker colors in this one though. I want to do something fun though right here. I'm going to lift this piece of toilet paper off of this paper and see what it looks like underneath. All right, you guys, it's kind of cool. You can't really control the water. You can't control what it's going to look like. So I don't know. Let's see what we get when we pull this toilet paper off of this uh, piece of paper though left a cool imprint that's kind of cool and here's our so we ended up with all right everybody let's move on to the next experiment so here's the first experiment that we did together today on the sheet of toilet paper not too bad it has some pretty blending colors in it I hope you guys like this one we'll move on to the next one all right, guys, here's experiment number two. This one I didn't bother trying to draw it on camera. I just thought, oh, we'll go right to the water on this one. So here we go. We're going to use the dropper again because there's so many experiments today. We're leaving no stone unturned. All right, so this one, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to try to drop one drop of water on each square. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's come in here. We're just going to, instead of spraying the whole drawing, I thought we'd just do like I'm doing here, just draw, drop a little bit of water on each square. I'm not trying to be real precise. Then yeah, I may get a couple more drops, but I didn't want to cover this one all the way. I wanted to see what would happen if we just kind of limited how much water we use. I guess I'm, I'm not exactly doing one square at a time, but I'll just let this one go. We'll let this dry and see what happens. It might look kind of cool when it's, when it's done. All right, you guys, I'm pretty impressed with this one. It looks... Com this. This drawing looks completely different than what it did before we put those drops of water on each of the squares. I think this might end up being one of my favorite ones that we will do. I don't know, I think this is gonna be hard to beat with those beautiful colors that just kind of work into each other with the white in between. That one came out pretty. Love and peace to you, my friend. So we have our two drawings. We're gonna dip this first one in and see what happens. Going right into the bucket of water, and then we're going to go right up on the line with it. Down into the water, and then onto the line. You can see the ink starts kind of peeling off of the drawing right off the bat. And we'll see if we can get this clothes pinned here without ripping it too badly. I think we're going to get it. The drawing did rip a little bit, but we might be all right. That looks kind of cool already. All right, everybody, we're about to drop some drawings in a bucket of water. Why not, huh? 
We're doing all the all the water experimenting we could do, you guys. All right, let's drop this one in. We'll just leave the camera on there and let that one soak a minute. Uh, let's try it. Let's try this one. What that flower? Let's see if anything happens to that. Okay, guys. So here's the uh, two drawings that we dipped in the bucket of water real fast and then took them out and put them on the clothesline. They dried. They're all crispy and stuff. But you know what? I kind of like them. I think they're kind of cool, especially this one here. You guys remember what that was? Was that swirl pattern and the water really made it look tie dyed. So that's cool. And then this is an abstract rain drawing, which it it's meant to blur together. I think some different colors would have looked better, but all right, let's move on to the other two drawings that we put in the bucket. All right, everybody, here we are. We, these are the two drawings that we laid flat on the water. They didn't sink. They just sat and soaked in the water. I let them soak for a little while longer, and then I took them out and we dried them, but this was that blossom. I like it. It's kind of uh, faded, and this was those little you know, marker brush strokes. And I could see this, if this was on a huge painting, like, you know, something that could hang above your couch, that could be really pretty. So, well, all right, let me see. I think I have a couple more drawings to show you guys. All right, guys, I think this one looks awesome. And you guys, guess what did this one? This one I didn't do on camera because it's hard to time the rain. But the other night I put two drawings out in the rain for just a minute. I think the, the rain is the winner so far today. The rain really did a cool job of just making these marker drawings really spread out and be beautiful. So keep that in mind if you want to try to put a couple out in the rain. All right, we're going to move on to our last two big experiments. We're going to... All right, everyone, I think this is what we've all been waiting for. Again, we're going to be using our big guns here. We're going to do a nine-page drawing, and then we're going to spray this one flat and let the water soak into it. I think it's going to be really cool because this is what it's going to be. It's gonna be, you guys have seen me draw these before. I guess you could call them fireworks. You just kinda of do this like, like this. See how we're spinning the paper and making this. I think when the water lays on top of this, it's gonna spread the colors out really cool. So, all right, everybody, as you can see, we've got our big guns ready and we have this beautiful marker painting that we just finished at the table. Look at this. I can't wait to see what happens. This is our second to our last experiment for the day. The next one's gonna be the big one, but I think this one's gonna look pretty cool. So let's start spraying this and see what happens. And uh, of course I'll let it dry and show it at the end. So we may not see a big effect right now. I'm just gonna slut lightly miss this. And we're gonna leave it dry outside. You guys can listen to the birds chirp. There's an ant crawling on it right now. Um, we'll see what happens kind of excited and hopefully it all starts blending together and makes kind of a tie-dye effect well I'm so glad you guys suggested this art project to me to me this what we just did here is wonderful it's so beautiful I just love the way this picture turned out to be more of like a watercolor tie-dye now it's so softened by the water I'm gonna take the phone and get close to this painting and do a little zoom in shot as we scroll across the painting so you guys can see it up close. Thanks for being here, you guys. I really appreciate this amazing art family we have. Okay, everyone, here we are. We made it to our final art project of this video. I just finished drawing this blossom. We're gonna take this outside, but it's gonna be nine different blossoms, nine different colors, all taped together in one big painting. We're about to spray it with a spray bottle. So we've come to the end of the video and I hope it turns out great. I'll see you guys outside. All right, just wanted to thank you guys all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed having fun with me and we're gonna do our final experiment. We're gonna spray this beautiful blossom painting. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's see what happens. You never know with these uh, experiments, it may not look like much or it could look kind of cool. Let's do this and have some fun. I'm gonna soak it a little bit with this squirt bottle. <laughs> this could be cool. I hope it looks nice, you guys. Of course, we know it's gonna start to fade a little bit. You guys might be able to see it already started to fade. I 
All right, I'm just gonna let that, I squirted it pretty good. I'm gonna let that sit there and we'll watch it for a second. I think, uh, I just wanted to say you guys, uh, I'm seeing it starting to drip a little bit. That's cool. I hope it starts to drip a little bit more. I mean, let me put a little more on there. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You guys suggested this and if you guys have any other suggestions, uh, I'm I'm up for it. Art is nothing but an experiment many times, you guys know. You just sometimes never know what it's gonna come out. That was a Bob Ross that said, happy little accidents. And so you never know when something's gonna come out really cool. I do like this red flower now, it's dripping down over the green one, that looks kinda cool. And if you guys can see up here, this green one, it's starting to drain over the yellow. That looks really awesome. Well, I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. I'll leave it just like this. And I just really appreciate you guys all being here in this art channel, growing like it is. We're up over 2,000 subscribers, you guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, as always, I, I hope this art inspires you and you feel creative. Get your art supplies out and make yourself something beautiful today. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys on the next video. So here's the first experiment that we did together today on the sheet of toilet paper. All right, you guys, I'm pretty impressed with this one. It looks, com this, this. All right, let's move on to the other two drawings that we put in the bucket. Something that could hang above your couch. That could be really pretty. So I think the, the rain is the winner so far today. The rain really did. everybody here's that beautiful blossom marker painting that we sprayed i just wanted to give you my reaction to it and i just think it's truly beautiful and amazing and i, I just love how the colors washed away and blended together and it dripped off the bottom it's a mix between stained glass and watercolor with the light showing through i really love it i think i'm going to end up framing this and hanging it in my house so i thank you guys for being a part of this and we'll see you guys on the next video